Hi, I'm Andrew with Omaha Outdoors. In the past couple of weeks, we released two reviews of the P320 from SIG, one of the X5 and one of the full-size TAC Ops. I recommended these pistols very highly because they performed very well in all of our tests. In the last week, we became aware of rumors on the internet that the P320 would fire if it were dropped. We decided to test this ourselves. While we were conducting our testing, SIG released a statement saying that the P320 was drop safe and the Dallas Police Department, which had previously suspended the use of the P320 by its officers, said it was putting the pistol back into service after its concerns were alleviated. We have been in communication with SIG about the results of our drop testing, and we are now ready to release the results to you. It should be noted that the P320 will pass all of the commercial, uh, industry, and government drop tests that we're aware of. All of these drop tests require that the pistol be dropped with the bore axis perpendicular to or parallel to, in some fashion, the ground or the surface which the P320 is being dropped. We found in our testing that the P320 will fire if it is dropped at a certain angle. This angle is not found in any of the previously mentioned drop tests. If the pistol is allowed to drop with the bore in an upward direction and the frame and the slide contact the ground at the same time, the trigger continues to move to the rear and the pistol will fire. We found this result was consistent across calibers, frame sizes, and even different types of ammunition, from duty ammunition from major manufacturers, which supply the majority of the US law enforcement market, to range ammunition and match ammunition. All of these, when dropped at the right angle, would result in uncommanded firing of the pistol. Three of these pistols of the four that we tested would fire when dropped. Three of these pistols had also been previously torture tested. However, they were not the same three pistols. These two pistols, which had previously been torture tested, would fire when dropped. One of the pistols had been torture tested to a more extreme degree than either of these two combined, and it would not fire when dropped. And one pistol had not been torture tested, yet it would fire when dropped. The differentiating factor, we believe, is the weight of the trigger. The one pistol which would not fire when dropped, even though we dropped it so much that the beaver tail broke off, was the P320X5. The P320X5, you see the frame here, beaver tail broken, has a lighter trigger than the other P320s. It is a flat trigger. This flat trigger does not have a reinforcement on the back side, whereas these P320s have a bit of a reinforcement inside, and as a result, they weigh 6% more than this flat trigger. This might not sound like much, but when we took this trigger and put it in one of the other pistols, which would previously fire uh, practically every time it was dropped at that angle, the uncommanded firings dropped to less than 10%. When we further reduced the weight of a stock curve trigger by about 30% compared to the original, we practically eliminated, in fact, we did eliminate uh, in over 50 drops, we did not see a single uncommanded firing. That pistol, as previously noted, would fire practically every time when dropped at that angle. By no means am I saying this is the only solution to this problem, and without further testing, it's impossible to say if this is even a correct solution for the problem. It simply appears to be one at this time. Another option would be for SIG to install the tab trigger safety, which they already developed when they introduced the pistol, on all P320s. We believe that SIG should not only have an interest, but also a responsibility to look into the possibility of reducing the weight of the P320 trigger, among other possible solutions, to reduce or eliminate this extremely rare, but still possible, occurrence of drop firing. We think the P320 is a fantastic handgun. We've sold thousands of them over the years. In the wake of our uh, very positive reviews, we expected to sell thousands more. However, until SIG addresses this issue and fixes the problem, we will be suspending sale of the P320 at Omaha Outdoors.